Tomorrow is April Fools, and no joking, we've got a great show to prepare for it. Hey gang, this is Brian Rollins, and you're listening to the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week we're honoring that master of parody, Weird Al Yankovic. He's funny and topical, with hits released from the 80s through 2014, and hopefully beyond. If you're new to Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy, welcome aboard. We offer three rounds of ten questions apiece. Each round gets a little harder than the one before. If you need rules or a scorecard, head over to the show's website, dorkygeekynerdy.com. From there, you can also find other episodes to sate your trivia hunger. That's enough intro, so let's get the show rolling with the Dorky Round. Number one. Yankovic started playing what instrument at the age of seven? The accordion. Number two. What artist refused to give permission for the 1996 parody Amish Paradise? Coolio. It was a spoof of his song Gangsta's Paradise. Number three, what show helped launch Weird Al's career in the 80s? The Dr. Demento Show. Number four, Eat It lists two songwriters, Yankovic and who else? Michael Jackson. Number five, Weird Al starred in what 1989 movie? UHF. Number six, 2014's Tacky parodies what popular song? Happy by Pharrell Williams. Number seven. Weird Al's first album was self-titled. What was the title of his second album? In 3D. Number eight. Jurassic Park was a parody of what 1968 song? MacArthur Park. Number nine. Yankovic details his love for a certain flavor of ice cream in what Joan Jett parody? I Love Rocky Road. Number ten. I Love Lucy was the subject of what 1983 song? Ricky. The Geeky Round. Number one. Weird Al covered the entire plot of The Phantom Menace in what 1999 song? The Saga Begins. Number two, though not written for the movie, what 1986 film featured the song Dare to be Stupid? Transformers, the movie. Number three, what was Weird Al's first recorded song? My Bologna. 
Number four, what song was recorded live with only an accordion and the accordion's case as percussion? Another one rides the bus. Number five, in what song does Yankovic act as moderator for the 2020 U.S. presidential debate? We're all doomed. Number six, in what song does Weird Al try to educate people on proper English? Word crimes. Number seven, Backstreet Roy's I Want It That Way became a spoof of what website? eBay. Number eight, MC Hammer got the Weird Al treatment with what 1992 song? I can't watch this. Number nine, a clip from the Simpsons episode Blood Feud shows up in what song? Phone calls. Number 10. The album cover for Off the Deep End parodies what Nirvana album? Never mind. The Nerdy Round. Number 1. Yankovic first got his Weird Al nickname while at what school? Cal Poly. He was studying architecture. Number two, Yankovic covered what iconic TV theme song on his album, Dare to be Stupid? George of the Jungle. Number three, what is the longest song ever recorded by Weird Al? Albuquerque. It's 11 minutes and 23 seconds long. Number four. What drummer has been with Yankovic since the early 80s? John Bermuda Schwartz. Number five, what two members of Dire Straits played on the parody, Money for Nothing, Beverly Hillbillies? Mark Knopfler and Guy Fletcher. Number six, Greg Kinn has a cameo in the video for what Weird Al song? I Lost on Jeopardy. The Greg Kinn Band performed the original Our Loves in Jeopardy. Number seven. Comedians Key and Peele make a cameo in what 2006 music video? White and Nerdy. Number eight. What song was initially not going to be released on the 2011 album Alpocalypse, so it was released on YouTube instead? Perform This Way. 
The song was then put back on the album after gaining Lady Gaga's permission. Number 9. What Weird Al song is a spoof and a mashup of two different Red Hot Chili Peppers songs? Bedrock Anthem. It spoofs Under the Bridge and Give It Away. Number 10. A game show hostess features in what song from Weird Al's Even Worse album? Stuck in a Closet with Vanna White. And done. How'd you like this one? I think this may be our first musical artist specific show. Let me know what artists we should do next. Speaking of next, here's your clue for next week. What decade gave us Bohemian Rhapsody, Hotel California, and Staying Alive? Another music show. It's spring and vaccines are rolling out. It's time for playing something loud and enjoying ourselves. I'll see you back here next week. This has been episode 114 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at Audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Thanks for listening.